welcome to CNN Student News. I'm your host, Carl Zeus, and today we're taking a look at the Nuremberg Trials. It all started in Germany, 1945. Wait, what? Where am I? The Nuremberg, Germany? What? Carl Zeus? Nuremberg, Germany was chosen for the site of the trials because of its Palace of Justice, which remained undamaged during the war. And oh, don't forget the huge prison it had within its compound. The Soviets preferred Berlin, however. What trials? You know, the Nuremberg Trials, held from 1945 to 1949. There were 13 trials held in order to bring Nazi war criminals to justice after World War II. You were studying this for social studies. Don't you have a test tomorrow? Well, I never pay attention to social studies class, and I, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. <laughs> Sounds like someone needs a history lesson. Follow me. Where exactly are we going? Palace of Justice, of course. The first trial is about to start. Why did the Nazis even have to be on trial? I'm so confused. It's like, why didn't they just kill the Nazis? That's exactly what Churchill and other people wanted. Welcome to CNN 10 Second Trivia. Who proposed to the president to shoot prominent Nazi leaders and send others away to remote locations? Was it A. Henry Stimson, B. Henry Morgenthau, C. Sir Jeffrey Lawrence, or D. Adolf Hitler? Time's up. The answer is B. Treasury Secretary Henry Morgenthau. He was supported by Soviets and Churchill. Henry Stimson proposed judicial trials. Sir Jeffrey Lawrence was one of the judges. And if you don't know who Adolf Hitler is, well, you're no longer considered a functioning member of society. While we walk to the Palace of Justice, I'll fill you in on the cause of the trials. At the end of World War II, the Allies became aware of the horror that was the Holocaust, and they wanted the Nazis to be punished for this. The Allied leaders tried to agree on a way to punish the Nazis. Churchill, for example, wanted to execute the, all the Nazi leaders, but President Truman proposed the idea of a judicial trial where the Nazis would have a chance to defend themselves in court. The other leaders agreed on a trial to punish Hitler and the Nazis for their murder of approximately 6 million European Jews. But Hitler was never tried because he committed suicide. I heard he committed suicide with a cyanide capsule and shooting himself. That's true, but back to the trials. In August 1945, the Allies signed the International Military Tribunal, or the IMT, which created the rules for the trials. The IMT included four indictments, or accusations of a crime, participation in a common plan or conspiracy for the accomplishment of crimes against peace, initiating and waging wars of aggression and other crimes against peace, war crimes and crimes against humanity. Here we are. Wow, we really are in 1945. Look, the first and largest trial is about to start. The major war criminals trial. About 24 people were accused. Attention, all rise. The tribunal shall now enter. This trial, which is about to begin, is unique in the annuals of jurisprudence. These trials are not legal. They're not legal. What was that all about? Many people doubted if the trials were illegal. They thought they were only accusing Nazis because the Allies had won. Enough of this. Let's skip to the day before the executions. Wait, you have the power to do that? I have the power to do anything. I live out in your messed up dreams. Wow, it actually works. Here we are, the prison complex. Who are all these criminals? These are the guilty Nazis, of course. 12 of which are sentenced to death. Their executions will take place tomorrow. Come, I have something to show you. Who are you? That's not important. The real question is, who are you? I'm Hermann Göring, German leader of the Luftwaffe and president of the Reichstag. I do not deserve to die at the hands of these filthy allies. Tomorrow, when only 10 Nazis hang from Martin Bormann is missing and I will not be attending. I have one cyanide capsule. subsequent trials. Remember how I told you there were 13 trials total? No. Well, these are the other 12 trials. They were used to punish lower-ranking Nazis. I must ask, what year is it? 1946. The trials will last until April 1949. All rise. We will now begin the doctor's trial. You 23 defendants standing before me are accused of crimes against humanity, including performing experiments on prisoners of war. 
The doctor's trial was an important trial. It lasted 140 days. 85 eyewitnesses have testified, and we have come to the conclusion that 16 of you German physicians are guilty. Seven of you will be executed. The rest of the subsequent trials are as follows. Judge's trial, where 16 lawyers and judges were tried for following the plan for Nazi racial superiority. Milch's trial, where former Field Marshal Erhard Milch was indicted with three counts. Hostage trial, where 12 defendants were tried with committing crimes against prisoners of war. The Einsatz group in trial, where 24 leaders were tried for various war crimes and crimes against humanity. High command case, where 14 leading officers in the German army were tried with crimes against peace and waging wars of aggression, which was a violation of national treaties. Here's one of the defendants in the high command trial, Wilhelm Ritter von Lieb. Flick case, in which six leaders of German industrial groups were indicted for crimes against humanity involving slave labor and prisoners of war. Those are just some of the subsequent trials that took place in Nuremberg. What's next? Someone sounds eager. Well, I was planning on taking you home, but if you'd like, I can show you some pretty pictures of trench foot. Please no, let's just go home. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed your trip back in time to see the Nuremberg trials. Yes, because I should find witnessing suicides and seeing Carl Zeus's face in my nightmares very enjoyable. The Nuremberg trials were seen as a major milestone towards the development of international court and law, so you're lucky you got to see that. Looks like my work here is done. Time to put you back to sleep. I'm Carla Zeus, and that was CNN 10. 10 out of 10 would learn again. Dang it, Carl Zeus taught me the wrong social studies unit. Well, I guess I'm going to fail my quiz. German physicians are guilty. <laughs> Eyewitnesses has te has have tested. <laughs> CNN student news. I got it. CNN. I well, I was planning you on taking you <laughs> find witnessing suicides and seeing Carl. F <laughs> Carl. F and that was CNN ten. Maddie. Ten out of ten would learn again. <laughs> That's all you have to say. I was gonna.